James. Good to see you, and thanks for having us this morning at Ericsson stand in Barcelona. Yeah. Why don't you show us around and uh, tell us a bit about what you're showing? Well, the whole thing really starts with the fact that, as you know, every company's doing digital transformation. Everybody is. But in digital transformation, there is a very important foundation, and that's networking. And they come to us when they have difficult network problems. So we can solve it in four ways. So the first way that we do it is connecting them to a mobile network that's a far more agile connection than wired. So for instance, you have a vehicle that's running five, six, seven, eight applications. We can make that a secure rolling network. You have businesses that have to wait for wired lines 30, 60, 90 days. We can get them going during construction day one with full security, bringing in hybrid connections afterward. We also do the same thing with IoT. So we have companies coming to us, like those, for instance, in the healthcare industry that say, hey, we want a full solution. We not only want the compute and the camera, we want the connectivity all included. We want to drop it in and make it go. So this is computer vision. We're seeing a lot of customers doing that. So that's the first way. Second way is that we bring the power of network APIs to businesses. So the carrier's networks have a lot of rich information in their network. We can extract that out, like location, verification, SIM card swaps, those kinds of things, and we can bring it to life. In this case, we gain entrance into a secure facility just by verifying that the person is who they say they are on the information from their phone. All right, that's two, let's go to three. <laughs> so here, what we're showing is that many times customers like Jaguar Land Rover, which is what we've mimicked here, their own factory, it's a picture of their, of their facility, they start to look at their factory and say, these wires are cumbersome. We're tripping over them, they're not mobile. So let's bring in Wi-Fi. Well, they bring in Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi won't work. So then they come to us and say, can we drop the same kind of network that a carrier uses into a factory? And of course we say yes. And they test it out and find that they get a high amount of reliability and throughput and are able to run the kind of difficult um, run the kind of operations in a very difficult RF environment. Mm -hmm. Then the next question they ask is, well, what about all of our partners? And we say yes as well. So for instance, we have virtual twin partners that connect to the 5G network and exchange data between an aggregated data layer. We have connected tools that are smart tools, 5G based. And then we have push to talk radios, the same kind of two-way radios that you, you, you love and, and, and enjoy in the outside world, but you get in a 5G, a 5G network. And then we have um, a, a great vendor that aggregates all this information from all these things on the factory floor, just like the JLR factory. So that's the kind of private 5G that we would really like, that we, we love our customers to have. So that's four. <laughs> so the fifth is we're gonna talk about public connectivity but bringing it inside a building. And sometimes that's a problem because you got all this interference, you got low energy glass, you've got all kinds of structures and your signal really stinks. So we can bring a 5G signal inside a building. Let me just give you a little visual example. So here we've constructed two high rises. We're comparing one to a traditional way of providing coverage inside a building called a DAS, a, a distributed antenna system. But then there's another way, which we call our um, Ericsson Radio Dot system, and that is a pure 5G solution. The benefit there is you don't have to do any kind of analog to digital transformation. You have half the equipment, and you get far more performance for the money. And so we're excited about that. We think enterprises more and more are going to want to have the same kind of strong connectivity inside the building is out, and be able to benefit just like they can from all the other ways of 5G. So, conclusion, we hope that businesses will uh, <laughs> take their digital transformation to another level and use 5G to do it. Excellent. Well, James, thanks so much for the quick tour here. Yeah. And if folks have a chance to see it live, then make your way down to the Ericsson stand. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you.